The World Cup is demanding South Africa pay attention to every detail, even the grass. This pitch, grown for key stadiums, was rejected by FIFA. Wrong type, wrong color. Grass growers have had to start again. Officials say construction and renovation of the country's 10 soccer stadiums are near completion. They concede freeway construction is behind schedule. These projects employ 400,000 people. Organizers hope better infrastructure will score points with investors. I have no doubt that there will be industrialists and big corporate captains that will come to the event and see not just 90 minutes of football, but see what the country has to offer in terms of trade and investment. But security remains a challenge. South Africa has one of the highest crime rates in the world. Some fear the country could be vulnerable to terrorist attacks. Authorities say they have the manpower and the know-how to secure the soccer venues. Despite our confidence, we still need to make a provision for the unknown, and we have done that, and we are ready for that as well. Being ready for anything means bracing for hooligans. The South African government wants an extra 30,000 police officers on the streets during the World Cup. French police have been brought in to teach local officers crowd control techniques. With more than half a million visitors expected, it's bound to be a mean feat. Simulated exercises test new body armor and new tactics to deal with troublemakers. What's essential for us is that when we're no longer here, they are left with a long-lasting know-how. Skills and equipment which the South African police can use to tackle many different situations and not only problems they might have to handle in and around a stadium. The World Cup doesn't come cheap. South Africa is spending billions of euros on construction projects, some of which are already over budget. Cape Town's Greenpoint Stadium alone costs 400 million euros. Securing the investment will be very difficult. In other words, if these stadiums hadn't been built and paid for by the state, there's no way these stadiums could possibly be profitable. Officials hope the investments to bring the World Cup here will also produce social benefits, a chance to forget about Africa's problems, enjoy the game, and a moment of pride.